Welcome to the Islanding Simulator. The dream of all operators. The Islanding Simulator will give the user the opportunity to dispatch up and down units, to follow different load curves, in normal grid conditions, and in sudden islanding conditions. Keeping the frequency level, the path limits, the line's loading limits, and the regulating reserves levels within preset limits at all time. So the load will be changing by itself. The AGC will be running every 6 seconds. The simulator checks the user's actions. And if this is not done correctly, will automatically bring down the user's score. One mark if the actual regulating reserve is not at the proper level. Three marks each 6 seconds if there is overload on a path or a line. One mark every 6 seconds if in case of islanding, the frequency in each island is not close to 60 Hz. So let's have a closer look at this islanding simulator. There are five zones. Zone A, B, C, D, and E. In each zones there are units. Zone A 12 units. Zones B, C, and D 8 units. Zone E 4 units. For each unit there are 12 dispatch bands. There is a load curve. The regulating reserve requirements, the frequency, the actual regulating reserve, the actual load, the user score, the path loading in percentage, the lines loading in megawatts, and the lines limits. The AGC mode could be manual or off, or auto for automatic. In normal condition it shall be in auto. In emergency condition, this will be to the operators to decide. After pressing on start, the users will have to follow the load, dispatching units. Pressing on dispatch band. The users can press on SLD to access the single line diagram. On the single line diagram, we can see the five zones, with their units. The lines interconnecting the different zones, the load flow on the lines, and the lines condition. There will be alarms, when there will be lines tripping. The users will then have to watch for overload, to redispatch to remove the overloads, or to prevent overloads. The load always continue to move, as per the load curve. The users will be able to access, at any time, the single line diagram, to check the grid conditions. Situation deteriorate, other lines are tripping. We are just there. There are two frequency indications. One at 60.407 Hz and the other at 59.774 Hz. What do you think we are having? Yes there are islands. What should we do? Nothing. That will be to the users, to manage the two islands, to bring back the frequency close to 60 Hz. And to keep it there. The fun is just beginning. We hope you enjoy this presentation. There are several levels with this category. From beginners. To experts. To ultra operators. To ultra ultra operators. Do not even think to go there. You will be dead meat.